Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will go to Chandpur Sunday, open 23 development projects and lay foundation of 24 other schemes. Gazipur and Kulna City Corporation polls to be held on May 15. BNP lying about the illness of the convicted party, Chief Khaled Azia said Obadul Kader. And hailstorm wind gods killed at least six, damaged crops and thousands of houses. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my TV English Bulletin. I'm Sheila Iqbal with you with the newsroom today, watching the standard bank headlines. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina goes to Chanpur on a day-long day visit on Sunday to join the 6th National Community Development Camp, Comteka of Bangladesh Scouts, open 23 development projects and lay foundation of 24 other schemes in the other districts. On arrival at Himshar Upazila in the southeastern district in the morning by a helicopter, the Prime Minister will join in a grill function of the 6th Kamadeka at Charbongo. She will later go to the Chandpur district headquarters in the afternoon and integrate 23 development projects and lay foundations of 24 other schemes from Chandpur Stadium. Sheikh Hasina, also the Army League president, will also address a public rally to the organized by the district Army League at the same venue too. Meanwhile, a festive mood is prevailing in Chanpur to welcome Sheikh Hasina over there, who is going to the district after eight years. She last visited the district on April 25th in 2010. The roads of the district towns and Himshopuzela have been decorated with archways billboards, colorful digital banners and festoons. The portraits of Bangu, Bongabondo and Sheikh Hasina alongside development activities of the present government have been put on the display in the archways, billboards, banners and festoons as well. The Ghazipur and Khulna City Corporations will go to the polls on May 15. The elections for the two city corporations have been scheduled after the HSC exams. But before the start of the Ramadan, Chief Election Commissioner K. M. Nurul Huda made the announcement that at the end of an election commission AC meeting today and laid out the schedule for the polls according to the schedule, candidates for the position of mayor and general reserved councillors must submit their nominations applications to the elections returning officer by April 12th. The submissions will be scrutinized on April 14th and 15th with April 23rd said as the deadline to withdrawn from the race. The Ghazipur and Kulna city election schedules were announced after the government gave the EC the green light to hold polls in five city corporations ahead of the general election. Minister for Road Transport and Bridges Ubadul Kader said that the leaders of BNP are indulging in the falsehood about the illness of the convicted party of Chief Khaled Azia. In reaction to BNP's demand to the release Khaled Azia from jail for the treatment, Kader said that she was doing like previous conditions, quoting that the civil sergeant of Taka Kadir, also the general secretary of Army League, made the remark while talking to the reporters while then inspecting the condition of Tongi Ashulia EPZ road in Zirabo of Ashulia in Saba today. Taka 19 lawmaker Dr. Inamur Rahman, Saba Upazila Army League organizing secretary Diwan Mehdi Hassan Munju were among others present there as well. Here claiming that BNP is not a trustworthy political party for the democracy, Information Minister Hassanul Hakinu said today. The party has repeatedly proved that it is a pattern of poor criminals and militants. Inu also said that the president of Jatiyo Shomach Tantri Doj, JSD, came up with the remark while talking to local journalists at the founding anniversary program of a private television channel. BNP talks about democracy but kiss war criminals. Shamat men and militants in the 
their pockets. He added while replying to a question from the reporters. PNP's demand for Khaledah Zia's release from jail as a conspiracy to foil the upcoming election, said Hassanul Haq Inu. Additional Deputy Commissioner Habib Hassan, District GSD President Golam Mosin and Joint Secretary Zil Rahman were also present there. Hailstrom twinned with a gust wind have lashed different regions of Bangladesh, leaving at least six people dead. In Silet, in a passerby died when the teen roof of a house collapsed while a child drowned during the onslaught on Friday. Two died in Magura and Dinajpur after being hit by hailstones. Two women were electrocuted. An other was injured after a live electric wire fell over them in Joshua. People say that never before had they had seen such big hailstones pouring down from the sky. Hailstorm also weakened havoc also in Lal Munirhat, Chinai Daho, Takurgaura, Shahi and Meherpur. The hailstorm co coupled with rain damaged crops and houses in Lal Munirhat, Takurgao, Dinajpur and several other districts. Views that as well from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News Online, visit www.mytvbd.tv and to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecasted in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, I'm Sheila Iqbal taking your leave. Stay safe and connected. Allah Hafiz.